Mm. Oh, that is so good. Mm. Hello, welcome to Paul Plays with Fire. I'm Paul and I like to play with fire. And when I say play with fire, I mean that in a good way. I mean like using fire for cooking, for staying warm, for keeping the mosquitoes away. I've also been fascinated with cooking most of my adult life. So it only seems natural that I bring cooking and fire together. What I'm gonna do here is try to make high quality, good tasting, good looking food, all prepared over an open fire. I hope you enjoy it. Early humans started cooking with fire approximately one to two million years ago. Their early cooking wasn't very sophisticated. It mainly amounted to taking large hunks of meat, throwing them on an open fire, hoping for the best, and trying to eat it when it smelled good. So, my uh, efforts aren't going to be much more sophisticated than that. I'm hoping to just take some large hunks of food, throw it on the fire, take it off when it smells good, and hope for the best. If that sounds good to you, stick around. If that doesn't sound good to you, stick around anyway. You never know. We might both learn something. So I'm going to start simple. I'm going to make a nice, simple cheeseburger with tater tots and a three bean salad. I hope that sounds interesting to you. Let's get going. Okay then. We're going to make the tater tots first because they take a little bit longer on the fire. At least that's what I'm going to assume because I've never done this before. I'm going to make a little boat out of some aluminum foil. I've gone back and forth between... You know, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to dump some foil out and do it. Do it packet meal style, because I know that very well. And hope they turn out a little crispy. We may open up that packet towards the end just to make sure that they do get crispy. So we're going to spread those out on the foil. Put a little salt and pepper on. I know salt and pepper on tater tots, but it really does help them. I don't know what kind of inferior quality you use at Orida. Inferior quality salt, I mean, but this is better. Okay, so then we're going to make it into a, a little packet. Hold it down from the top. They have enough oil in them nat naturally uh, from the factory that it shouldn't be a problem. So we're just going to throw that on the fire and see how it, how, see how it goes. Here we've got the packet of grilled potatoes, in this case tater tots, and we've made a little, we've taken an old fireplace grill and just thrown them on top of the coals. And we're going to set it off here to the side and hope for the best. Those should be ready in about 25 minutes, we hope. Now we're ready to prepare our hamburgers, and this really involves nothing more than just a generous salt and peppering on both sides of the burger and then let them sit for a little bit, but not very long. I don't ever bring paper towels. Note to self, bring paper towels. There we go. In our, about 10 minutes, our burger, burgers will be ready to go. Okay, we're here. Here we are. The uh, tater tots have been on for 11, 12 minutes or so. They're starting to smell pretty good. So I'm going to put the burgers on. Hope this spot is hot enough. If not, we'll find something else. Meanwhile, I'm going to just turn the tots around in for end. Make sure they get cooked.
and we're also going to take our buns and put them on to toast a little bit. We get a little crowded here for a second. These buns won't taste for, take very long. No, see, not very long at all. Apparently that's the right spot. Yep. We'll just rotate everything in through there. Maybe the burger too. Oh, okay, so that's starting to get a little hot. Even my asbestos fingers. Well, that all got a bit of a hectic towards the end. Uh, the potatoes are getting done, you can see in there, and my cheeseburger is cheeseburgering, so we're getting there. Just about done, I can smell it. Okay, well, here we go. And it, uh, it looks really good and it smells really good, but the flies are starting to gather, so there you can see some of my nice browning on that burger there. And I got some of my three bean salad I mentioned earlier left over from another day and it just as good just as good as the third day as it is on the first maybe better by the way three bean salad three bean salad was invented by the uh, um, early 1900 19th century people to take on picnics with them because it was a natural re refrigerated salad so it didn't really need dog you get back from there while I teach my history lesson it didn't really need any refrigeration um, because it was naturally pickled, so it was a really good deal all the way around. So, and then here are my tater tots, which could turn into kind of a lump and we'll eat them with a fork, but that's okay. Oh, they look really good. They smell really good, too. Oh, oh how hot. Ooh. That's a good idea. And we'll just put a couple of those on there. And then a little of my uh, sriracha aioli. They just whipped up. Put that on the burger. Put that around the tater tots. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Oh. That is so good. Mmm. And at the last second, I decided to add the tater tots, which are a great addition. They just add a nice saltiness and crispiness. Mmm. And melt into the cheese. Oh, that's delicious. Well, this is going to be simple, but this is actually quite delicious. I'm, I'm kind of proud of this, even though I got a little carried away. Whatever. So, this is... Paul Plays With Fire, I'm so glad you people came in uh, to check me out today. We're going to have new episodes coming every week, I hope. And we've got several things. We've got shish kebab, we've got cast iron skillet, we've got Dutch oven, we've got all sorts of things planned. So please stick around and check us out. Thank you very much.